Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain about the one of the direction control valve. That is the spool valve working with the animation. Here, in the spool valve, there are different types. Those are three by two spool valve, four by two spool valve, five by two spool valve, five by three spool valve. Here some valves are with the symbol shown: three by two spool valve, four by two spool valve, and five by three spool valves. And in this session, I am going to explain the working of the three by two spool valve and other types of the spool valves. I am going to explain in other sessions, in further sessions. First, we'll know this. What is meant by three by two spool hall? Three indicates number of ports in the halls. Here, there are three ports: P one, P two, and P three. Okay, that is a three. It is a number of ports. Three indicates number of ports. Okay, there are three ports are there. That is a three we have taken. And two spool, whatever is there, it is a spool position. The two is the stool position. The stool has the two positions. One is this position, and another position is this second one. And as it is having the two positions during its operations, and that's why its spool position we are going to indicate by the two number. And this is the spool. Whatever the valve element is there, that we are going to call as a spool. This is the spool, which is the valve working element. This working will take that one with the two positions, as the spool is ha having the two lines, the two lines it have, and this as the valve moves from the one position to the another position. Because of these lines present on this spool, those will forms the flow path in the valve, and that will guides the flow of the fluid in the particular direction. First, we'll take that is a right position, and towards this position, that is a right position. In that right position, what happens? That one, this P one connects to the. P two in the right position. Now it is connecting, and that is also called as a working position. When it is P one is connecting to the P two, the flow from the pump to the this hydraulic cylinder is taking place. This is the hydraulic cylinder. When the fluid is flowing from the pump to the hydraulic cylinder, the piston extends in this direction. Piston extends due to the fluid pressure. The work. Whatever is there as output, it will be taking place. And after the working, the piston will be retracts, and the the fluid will be moving in this. The piston is moving in this direction. The fluid will be moving in the downward direction. And in the valve, the left position what is there? That is the position two. In the position two, this P two valve port whatever is there. That is connecting to the this port three, which is connecting to the uh, whatever the sink is there. And during that time, the flow from the cylinder to the that sink or a tank is taking place. And during the uh, working stroke, the flow is taking place in the upward direction, and where the P one is connecting to the P two, and During the return stroke, the flow is taking place in the downward direction. Okay, in the line, the P two is connecting to the P three. The fluid is going to the tank. That is the position two. With these two positions, this full valve works, and the the working of the single acting cylinder is taking place in the hydraulic system. This can also symbolically represented. The symbolically represented in this hydraulic system. That is here the P 
from the pump that is the one okay in this position the left position it is connecting to the actuator okay here in the symbol it is that is left position it is connecting to the actuator the pump is connecting to the actuator the two positions the two positions we are going to show this is the one position and this is another position the two position and thus by the spring it will be the spring whatever we are going to use here whenever the actuation is not there that will be comes to the neutral position by the spring the actuation here it is shown this is the actuation or a hall operation that may be mechanically that is a push button operation or it may be pneumatic operation it may be solenoid operation or it may be electrical operation those are the actuation methods we we'll call and i'll actually explain the different types of the actuation methods also in the further sessions okay here when it is in left position the pump is connecting to the actuator this whatever the tank line is there that is the return line it will be closed and during the right position during the right position the flow is taking place in the downward direction where the actuator connecting to the return line that is towards the tank towards the tank during that time the pump line will be uh, stop that one the pump line will be uh, there is closed position okay like this in two positions this can be we can represent okay pump is connecting to the actuator and that return line will be closed and the, during the return stroke okay that the actuator is connecting the actuator line port is connecting to the this return port towards the tank so during that time the pump port will be closed like this 3 by 2 spool valve operates similar the operation will be there for the different other different types of the spool valves those i am going to explain in the further sessions okay because the symbolic representation as well as their working are important during the operation of the hydraulic systems thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment